something that, again, going back to Fringe, which is... But no, you can't compare no, those No, not the finale. I I'm just not, mean not, in general. They're completely different shows. But this is the same thing that they did in terms of people were questioning, you know, how Peter was able to come back into existence. And basically, the short story yeah, was... But, but he was able to do it because there was love, basically like a love happened. It's like there was, and, but, this, but so the, the same thing happened here. No. All of a sudden, he, yes, Dexter and Dexter suddenly became like starting to hack himself to human things because he found love, and it's like, okay, so he's. But not, I don't look at. See, I, I I think that that's that's the knee jerk reaction. I don't look at it that way because I if mean, you if you follow, and this is not a finale discussion, but if you follow the series, he had been finding attachments years earlier. Oh yes. To, and, I can, and I guess yes, to love in some degree because his sister, that's a form of love. His friend, oh, that's a form of love. His something. son, that's a form of love. He just hadn't realized it. Like No, but the thing is, my, my issue is, is that, yes, we saw him forming these attachments. We saw him, even last year with that, he was forming these attachments. Oh, I'm talking about like earlier No, than but, that, I'm saying, but I'm saying, but even, it's not just the last season thing, but in the, in the past couple episodes, mm-hmm. they're talking, all they're talking about is that love has changed. It's like, oh. I'm like, really? But I, I also think that that's, because his character is so stunted, that's the most basic way to for make him understand. It just it. felt like shitty. Yeah, I writing. think maybe that was it. But I mean, like, if you look at it on a character level, like, I, I was willing to accept the fact that if you're writing it from his point of view, he can't explain it because he didn't have it for so long. He didn't think he was capable of it, so he didn't grow. He didn't experience emotions. He didn't mature. Right. He. All the things that we do when we're 10 years old and we're learning about the world, he's doing now. Uh, yeah. And so he can't explain it past love. Right, but it's And so like he's they making so, these grandiose they were just mistakes. so because heavy handed with it in the past, in the last couple of episodes. It was like all of a sudden. Yeah. Like, but, it, but it didn't feel like, for me, from my interpretation, it did not feel like it was Dexter trying to stumble. It felt like it was just bad writing. Okay. That's my thing. Okay. Because even Dexter trying to stumble. I mean, sense. I may be yeah. leaning into it because I'm, I've always looked at the show from the character perspective rather than the critical writing. Yeah, I mean, and like, honestly, I don't think I even... Film lens. I don't even think I had been doing that until this, this past season. It just, and it wasn't even the past season. It's the past even half a season. Because I feel like even the beginning of it started off stronger. And I feel like... Well, it started off as more plot-driven. I think anytime you get into such internal things, it's complicated on television to execute it correctly. And I think that they've proven a lot that they're not great at executing the internal stuff because they rely on things that do seem kind of basic. I, I mean, mean, even his voiceover, I don't... I think we should have... They should have done away with his voiceover at the end of season one. I don't think we needed it. I think, A, Michael C. Hall was always a phenomenal enough actor to display it. And even when they were when there were moments where he didn't know what the emotion was, like Dexter didn't know right. what the emotion was, like that conflict was there on, on his face. face yeah. We didn't need the voiceover. Oh, absolutely. But they relied on these crutches and these television tricks more than they maybe needed to, especially oh, for a show and that could have been on a different And level. I will say it was fascinating to not have Harry in the finale. So I was kind of uh, waiting. I, was, I, I, was I saying, thought they should have done away with him years ago, but that's yes, my own personal. But I will say, I also thought, I. I didn't think he was being in the finale, but I was a little surprised he wasn't there when at he the dropped end. the boat. No, no, at oh. the with the boat when he dropped down. See, I thought he should have popped. Figured, I do think he should have popped back up in the end when because the penultimate episode when he says you don't need me anymore. It's Dexter's inner monologue, but at that final scene when he's in his little sad house, he does need him. Yeah, he needs something because he right. he doesn't know he can't he doesn't have the tools that he needs to work through the new emotions he feels. Right. And what do we do? We put our inner monologues onto whatever. I mean, maybe maybe it's Deb. Maybe if they did a spin-off in three years, maybe Deb's the new Harry. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he needs something to bounce to work his work through his yeah. stuff with, which, again, it's a very adolescent thing to do, but that's been his character. And I oh, think yeah. that's why I like the character so much, and then so that's my issue, like, to see at the end that he just took this giant step backward. I'm like, regardless of what I wanted for the, from the show or what I expected or what like a show of this caliber should do to have any character take a giant step backwards at the end of a series. It's like, what did, what did, what did we just do that? Everything he accomplished was for nothing. So, um, I don't know, maybe we should talk about it's reflecting so on the series. Maybe we should, we should still split this and talk about that and, uh, and come back. We have more to say. We're going to go a little bit more in depth about, um, 
talk about, but we're going to talk a little bit more. I'm Danielle at Danielle TVD. I'm Marissa at Marissa Roberts.